So the police are a band that was formed in London in 1977. Now, for most of their history, they were had the lineup of Sting as lead vocals and bass guitar, Andy Summers and Stuart Copeland. Now, I've heard of Sting a little bit. And I've heard actually one of his tracks, I think I have, but the, the police are a band that's completely missed me. Uh, I've not heard any of their songs, and this is one of their most famous tracks. This is Message in a Bottle, released in 1979 as part of the Regatta de Blanc album. So this should be an interesting one. I've heard that they've got fantastic writing and music. So let's let's get into this. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, here we go. This is Message in a Bottle by Sting. Let's get into it. Fantastic guitars on this one. Sting has a great voice, man. Okay, quite a lot to take in uh, immediately. So first of all, I'll say that the lead singer, who I, who I believe is Sting, right, from the from reading a little bit about the band, he's got a very emotive voice. I like it, especially when he really expresses uh, at certain notes. I feel like that is the strength of his voice comes out. Um, secondly, those guitars are fantastic. I think there's two of them. They're kind of weaving in and out of each other and creating this fantastic uh, backdrop to what I think is a song about uh, loneliness essentially right he's a castaway he's he's lost at sea so it's you're not going to be the first uh band or musician making music about feeling lonely but you can still do it in interesting ways and what i think they've decided to do is have this take place or the song take place as a in an island as a castaway so super interesting a little twist on the idea of being alone i like it let's back it up a little bit Great guitars, man. A year has passed since I wrote my note. Right there, he sounds fantastic. I should have known this right from the start. Only hope can keep me together. Love can mend your life, but love can break your heart. Hmm. It's interesting coming in as a outsider, the things that I pick up on, I can hear certainly the guitars influencing a band like Radiohead. I don't know if anyone's ever made the connection. Maybe this is a kind of, uh, I don't know, other people won't find it to be true, but I hear it. The texture and the sort of tone and the backdrop that's being set by those guitars, I find to be really fantastic. And it reminds me of a similar technique that Radiohead uses in a lot of their songs, where their guitars kind of make a wall of noise uh, in a really pretty way. Um, and I also hear a bit of Talking Heads. I did that Talking Heads track a couple couple weeks ago, and it, it's got that kind of vibe because it has a real big switch up during the choruses. It changes musically quite quite harshly. Once again, lead guitar is.
See how the music switches? It's interesting, most tracks, they explode in their choruses, whereas I feel like in this, the verses are the explosive part. The drum and bass combination really create this feeling of like energy and movement through the track. I really like it. That constant beat. Feels like something is about to happen. Constantly. the mix on the guitar man I want to hear that thing scorching Ooh. do you know what man that's a super interesting song I can't say I've heard a lot of tracks that sound a lot like that it's got a mix of a lot of things going on so one thing we'll start here one of my pet peeves when I listen to rock music is that it, at the end of it, I feel like the almost the most interesting thing is happening by the end and they fade out. They fade out the song. It's like, listen to that guitar at the end of that track. It was doing amazing things. It's like he's finally let go and he's scorching. He's doing these amazing guitar solo runs. David Gilmore does that sometimes as well in a lot of his solos where it kind of fades out. And you're like, dude, I want to hear what you're doing. It sounds amazing. I say the same thing here. Um, but regardless, the guitars were fantastic throughout the whole thing. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about was he's got an interesting accent. It sounds like a, a, a Londoner almost singing in like a Jamaican accent. Am I the only one who hears that? He's got a weird kind of twist to the way he pronounces certain words. Uh, so I heard he's from London. Um, so I'm a bit confused about that one. All in all, it's a super interesting song, man. I liked it. I liked the little twist that they put on the idea of being lonely and being feeling like you're a castaway on an island by yourself, sending out messages to others hoping to connect to someone and it turns out i think in verse three that it looks like all of a sudden waves brought ar around these hundreds of other messages from other people and i think that's very true it's like we almost don't know how to uh connect to one another we're all kind of looking for that thing especially in today's you know kind of technological run society but I think the kind of message maybe you can take away is that if you make the effort to reach out and, and throw your ball into the sea and hope someone connects, that something may came, come back at you. So it's worth giving it the shot. That's kind of the message I took away. So cool little twist on the idea of isolation. I've heard like um, David Bowie do his version at this point as well, because he did uh, a take on isolation with him going into space and kind of connecting the idea of space travel or even uh, being high on on drugs that being connected to the space travel and feeling isolated so this is their twist on it uh which is really cool i like it all in all super interesting track like i was saying it reminds me a little bit of the talking heads the choruses were certainly different to the verses i love the verse musically especially sting's voice is fantastic and his emotion really comes out in the verses uh all in all really interesting man i'd be curious to hear more of their music this was this was a cool track thumbs up